Hey everyone, it's Elias from RV Simple Life. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the 10 best things that I really love about the Grand Design Solitude 380 FLR. And we're gonna get started right now. Welcome back everybody. And uh, I'm gonna to talk to you today about the 10 best things that I really, really like about the Grand Design Solitude 380 FLR. And uh, they're not in any particular order. They're really uh, just 10 things that I, I sat around one day, I was thinking about. And number one is right behind me here, the windows. The windows in this RV uh, are absolutely fabulous. We really, really like them, uh, especially here in the dining area. Uh, you see, you just get a really, really good view uh, from this area right here. And it was nice too, it extends right to the door. And so you get a really, really good view. And when you're up in the living room here, sorry, it's just kind of lived in right now. Um, but you've got kind of a wraparound area up here with the windows. Windows on the right, on the left, and even up front with uh, this wonderful wind windshield that it has. And this is tinted too. This window here is tinted. On the outside, it's really hard to actually look inside. So even at nighttime, we'll have this all lit up and um, and people can't look inside. So uh, it's, it's been very, very nice to have that. So we really, really like all the windows. The next thing that I really love about the Grand Design Solitude is the kitchen area, especially the residential fridge. Uh, this fridge is 18 cubic feet and has got, of course, the freezer here at the bottom. Uh, which has an ice maker as well and it has this nice little lock on here to uh, to lock it up while you're going down the road that way it doesn't accidentally open but we really really like having this fridge it offers just so much uh, opportunity to to put more in here and to keep things stored in here this is run on an inverter um, and so even though if you know if you don't have a generator or you don't have shore power this can run for quite a while still um, with the inverter, but we really, really like having this. Um, all the all the different room that we have in here, as well as a nice ice maker. Um, and so just, it's been a game changer for us to be in the RV. The third thing we really like about the Grand Design Solitude 380 FLR is the room layout. Um, I've looked at, at many other Grand Design RVs and they're great and they're wonderful, but this unit itself uh, we really, really liked that what set it apart was that the rooms were separate. Like this room right here is a living room and that's all it is. It's just the living room. It's not shared with the kitchen. It's not shared with the dining room. It's all by itself. So when you're in here, you feel like you're in the living room area. And by the same accord, when you're in the kitchen, the, you're, you have the kitchen area here and the dining area. What's the dining area? naturally goes with the kitchen so you have the living room up front you have the dining area and the kitchen area right here all together all by itself there's not a couch in your in your kitchen area there's not um, a tv uh, right across from the dining room uh, it's all just meant for one purpose and so we really really like that of course then we have the bedroom up here and this, of course, is just the bedroom. It's not shared with anything else. Now we do have a television in here, but that's no big deal. I mean, most, most RVs will have that. And then of course, you have your, your bathroom back here. And so we really, really like that, that they're separate rooms for different reasons, different purposes. And that brings me to the next thing that I really like, and that is having this king bed in our RV. Um, this bed is 70 inches by 80 inches, which is not a full like traditional king size bed, but uh, it is a RV king, which is larger than a queen. And my wife and I have always had just a queen bed uh, in our home, in our regular sticks and bricks type of home. And this is bigger than that. And so it's a, it's a huge improvement for us. And we're glad to have that. So that's the next number on my list, which brings me to the next thing and that is this shower um, 
for an RV to have a shower this size is, uh, is fantastic. And we never really thought we were gonna get a shower this big in an RV, but um, I literally can be in here and not feel like I'm gonna hit my elbows on the wall or on the glass. Um, obviously there's a lot of floor space here. Uh, that's, that's probably nearly four foot right there. Uh, and probably two and a half feet this way. I really should have measured it, but um, it really is it's plenty of room. And you might be wondering what this is. This, this is for an upcoming video. I actually uh, am doing a, uh, an experiment to see how much water we actually use taking a shower. And so that'll be coming up here soon in, a, in one of our videos soon. But the, the next thing I really love about this RV is this shower, it's fantastic. And right next door here to the shower is the next thing which is the washer dryer unit. <clears throat> um, if you have an opportunity to get a washer and dryer in your RV, uh, it has really been uh, such a big help to have that. When we get just a small load of laundry, uh, my wife just gets right on it and gets it washed, gets it dried. And, uh, and I know they're expensive. If, if you're like gonna add this to your RV, it's an expensive uh, add-on to put on there. And you think, well, that for the kind of money you'll spend on having this, uh, how many times can you go to the laundromat? And it's true, I know there's been a debate about, you know, should, is, is, is it worth having a washer? Even at home, at your regular sticks and bricks, is it worth having a washer dryer compared to going to a laundromat? And actually it's been proven it's, it's actually cheaper uh, over time just to go to the laundromat. But for the convenience uh, of having it right here and at your home, at your sticks and bricks, um, it's worth it uh, and it's, it's weight in gold uh, to me because you can, you can set it, uh, and then just go off and do your own thing. You can just set it and forget it. Uh, kind of like the old Ronco commercials. Uh, you might actually see a clip of it right here. You just put the food in, set the timer, set it, and forget You got it, guys. Up. Set it. This is a big improvement, and we're glad to have it. All right, for the rest of these items, we're going to have to go outside. Let's show you from out here. Hi, Jasper. So the rest of the uh, items are out here. Um, one of them, I think some of you know what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna pick right here, which is the Lippert self-leveling system. This level up system has been fantastic. When you pull, your, um, when you, when you pull up to your campsite, um, all you have to do is come here and activate this by pushing these two buttons down at the same time for about five seconds, it activates it. Then you push the button to uh, put the legs down to be able to come get the weight off your truck, unhook your truck, pull it away. And when you're all pulled away and you're at a good safe distance because you don't want to be right there because this might come down actually. And you don't want your truck to be right there. So pull your truck, good, go to distance away, come back, hit the auto level button and just stand back. It'll do its thing. Um, it's been fantastic to have that. Our last RV had self leveling. And when we, when we had that in our last RV, we said, we'll never do without it again. We'll always choose that as an option. So um, if this RV did not have that, I wouldn't have gotten this RV, even though we love everything else about it. It had to have the self-leveling. So I love that about this RV that has that right there. Now, next thing is right around the corner here. Not really a corner, but okay. It's right in here. I really, really like this Easy Reel power cord um, holder. Uh, it's very, very nice to have. It just turns like that, it turns left or turns right. It runs on the 12 volt battery. And what you do is you take your power cord here and uh, you disconnect it and you're able to stick one part in here and then just wind it up with this here one way or another. And the whole cord will wrap around this. You might think, well, this isn't a very big uh, area to put that cord, the whole cord will fit in there easily and um, I have my extra power cords right here but I really really like having that easy reel um, that's a that's a more ride option and if you are able to get something like that it'd be great to have it uh, the only option the only thing I would change about this is I would actually move it over a little bit because um, there's wasted space in here I would actually move this over here so that we have more room over here I don't know why they mounted it right here but they did I might even have it moved who knows but I really like that also, which brings me down to here, this item, this is our sewer. Yeah, sewer, that's one of my favorite items. No, not really. What, what I like about it is that it all comes to one outlet right here. 
It doesn't come to one here and then another one up front here. It's all one exit right here. We have two gray tanks, two black tanks, and it all joins together and comes to right there to exit out. And so right inside here, you see our, our uh, two gray uh, pull tabs there and our black tanks right there. And they all come together right in here and all exits right there. I love that it's only in one. That way it's less um, sewer hoses to carry around, uh, less connectors, uh, just less mess. And the last thing I wanna share with you that I really like about this unit is all the storage. And before anybody comments and says anything, yes, I am overloaded right now. We moved from our Class A motor home, which typically Class A motor homes have more storage in them than a uh, fifth wheel does. So everything is still in here from our previous unit that we're going to actually be getting out of here uh, very soon here in the next few days. But you can see this uh, passes all the way through there and all this stuff half of hope, which I, I'm hoping is gone soon, but all that storage right there. And then we have the same thing through here, all the way through the other side is not opened up. Just a huge amount of storage. Uh, this big bay here opens up with the bikes on here. I can't open it up, but there's a slide out tray that comes out and that slide out tray has all this stuff right here on it, which you can carry up to 500 pounds of stuff. And this is a pass through. This is the, the pass through to the first side over there. Uh, lots of storage there. And this is my tool bay up here. It is a little bit of a mess right now, but this kind of a pass through, it does go all the way through, but it kind of bottlenecks down right there. But a lot of storage right here as well. And then there's even storage here with my generator, my generator bay there. I have storage in there right now, tools and things. So. This has just a ton of storage because of a couple reasons. Number one, it has this drop frame that you see right here. This drop frame right here, that you see that beam right there, that lowers the, the floor down to be able to open that up for all that storage. We love having all that storage right there. And then over here towards the back of the RV, this is the bedroom. And the bedroom, if you remember, we took, up, we took three steps up. And when you did that, at all the floor space right there in the bedroom everything underneath that is all storage every bit of it and so it's it's great we love that which that also does a couple things number one it gives you heat this is your heat ducts it gives you heat down in here and it gives you opportunity to work on the duct work or on the other side there's the plumbing and so it just opens things up to be able to do, do those different things that you need to do in an RV well, folks, I hope that helps you out some. Um, those are just some of the things that we really, really like about the Solitude 380 FLR. Uh, tell me some things that you really like about your RV. Uh, do you have a lot of storage? You wish you had more storage? Uh, do you have separate rooms like this RV does? Um, or do you have a washer dryer? I know some people don't want to get a washer dryer for the rooms, the room reasons. You know, they want to have extra room in their RV uh, or maybe the weight is an issue. Uh, or maybe the cost is an issue, I don't know. Um, but just tell me some things that you really like about your RV compared to what I showed you today. Um, maybe you're thinking about getting a, a 380 FLR. Um, I, I really, really love it. My wife really, really loves it. And uh, we wouldn't change a thing about it. Even considering some of the things that we wanted in the past, uh, we, we looked at even um, uh, considering getting a toy hauler. The Momentum, um, I, don't even, I think it was a 399 that we were gonna get. And um, we, we considered that. Uh, we considered the uh, 378 MBS uh, by Grand Design. Uh, we, well, I really, really like that because I like the extra bedroom that's in there, the, uh, the bonus room. But uh, when we found this RV, we were really, really glad uh, to find it. And, uh, and you know the story about how we wound up getting it. If you haven't seen our video yet about how we wound up with this RV compared to another RV, uh, I'll link that in the upper right-hand corner of your screen right here, if you can see that. I uh, just kind of tells you the story of how we wound up with this RV. Um, but uh, but please leave me a comment in the in the uh, uh, right below. Just leave me a comment about your RV and what you're using, and what you really like about it. Tell me your top three things. How about that? Just tell me your top three things that you really like about your RV, um, and I'd appreciate that. If you also if you have not uh, subscribed to our channel, please do that. Take a moment and just hit that button below. Subscribe to our channel. Like this video. Uh, also, we'd appreciate that. We're, we're really trying to do our best to try and get to a thousand subscribers. If you would help us with that, 
That'd be a big help to us. We'd appreciate that very, very much. Thank you once again for watching today. I appreciate that and hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.